How we doing everybody? Your old pal Baba Ganoush here. Oh boy, look at this beautiful, beautiful view. So you probably noticed some changes. Obviously, I'm not filming from my GoPro right now. I'm actually filming from my phone. But uh, I decided to leave the GoPro at home. Uh, number one, it allows me to directly film directly to my phone, which is nice. I don't have to transfer all the data and worry about battery and, and doing all that noise. So it's one less thing to worry about. Plus, as well, it gives me the opportunity to actually bring my real camera out me out with me, my uh, my Sony A6000 camera, which is sitting in the top lid above me here, which is very, very nice. Uh, so it gives me the opportunity to get some really fantastic pictures that I just am not able to capture on my phone here or my GoPro. My GoPro does take very nice high-resolution photos, but I don't get the same kind of customization. I can't really tweak it around like I would like. So... I got the camera with me. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. So we're actually up here in New York. We're only like a day or two away from the Connecticut border. We've been slack packing all of New Jersey just to catch you guys up a little bit. We've been slack packing all of New Jersey, spend a little bit more time with our friends and family, uh, you know, put a lighter backpack on. We were able to clean up our gear, repair our gear, take care of a couple things as well by doing that. And as well, we got to sleep on our beds every night. We got home cooked meals every night good breakfast every morning and stuff as well it was just really fantastic but time has come it's time to get back on the trail i think it's day 10 i have no idea 100 and something i'll check with fernando later to see what day it is exactly but otherwise it is thursday july 5th we're getting close to katahdin we have just a little over 750 miles left to go <sighs> beautiful beautiful in the meantime i'm gonna enjoy this view we got some good miles today. We're doing about 20 miles. Um, it is 10.30 right now. We started at 7.30. So we've been hiking for a good few hours. We're already on the way. So who knows? We might get into camp nice and early, and I can give you a rundown of the new gear, uh, the camera gear that I brought me and stuff as well. We'll see what's going to happen. We'll see what's going to happen. So I know that I didn't film at all last week, slack backing through New Jersey. I just want to kind of enjoy the hike and enjoy the scenery, take some really good pictures. You know, it's stuff that I've all done before and stuff, so I kind of just wanted to reminisce a little bit rather than worrying about filming all the time. And I think here comes Fernando now. Well, what do you know? So, I'll check with you guys in a little bit. It's going to be a good, good time. On to Katahdin. Baba Ganusha. Hi, everybody. Say hi, Fernando. Hello. <laughs> I caught him in a really bad position. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... We are actually going to be passing into Connecticut later on today. It is Friday, July 6th. Oh boy. Oh boy. So we had some crazy storms roll through this morning. We got up. We were having breakfast and all of a sudden it got super dark. Super ominous. And we were just like, why don't we just, why don't we just wait a little bit? So we didn't get started until about 9.30, but we're still going to do the 20 miles. It's an easier 20 miles than yesterday's 20 miles, so we'll have no problem. But uh, yeah, a little bit of rain today, keeping things nice and cool. We certainly do appreciate that. And uh, yeah, gonna be a good, gonna be a really good day. But in the meantime, we just gotta filter some water. Filter some water, drink some water. Mm -mm. Hydrate and get on the move. So it is about 11 o'clock right now. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Good, good day. We got some blueberries coming up. Blueberries! Yes, Lord. Finally, we've been looking forward to blueberries this whole time. But damn, a few other hikers have cleaned it out. <laughs> That's okay, I would have done the same thing. It's okay, I get my turn, my turn. So, let me put you away, we got some miles to do. I'll see you guys further on down the trail. So how we doing everybody? We got ourselves here a monumentous occasion. We're crossing into Connecticut. Adios, New York. You suck, New York. <laughs> God, it was hot combined with all the rock scrambles and stuff. It was tough. I'm so glad we got to slack pack that section. But it is Saturday, July 7th. Time to move on to Connecticut. Send it. Ah, good morning, good morning, everybody. Your old pal Baba Ganoush here again. Ah, it's Monday morning, July 9th. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful morning again. So I know I haven't been filming a whole lot lately. It's just been so hot. The weather's been tough. Uh, the terrain has been tough as well. And so I've just been focusing on the hike and making sure I keep myself hydrated. 
so I don't always feel in the mood to pop the camera out and talk and just waste my energy kind of thing. So it's been tough the last few days, but we're kind of getting our legs back underneath us after uh, slack packing for a couple weeks. Oh, we have some good elevation changes and some good terrain in front of us. Oh boy. But today we resupply. So we got about 15 miles into town. We've already been hiking for over an hour, so we're a few miles in already. But 15 miles into town, what we'll do is we'll um, we'll stop in there. We'll uh, grab something to eat. Of course, we'll resupply. We'll recharge uh, the batteries a little bit. Um, actually, recharge the battery packs. I mean, like <laughs> eat and also plug in and charge those things up. <laughs> But uh, recharge those a little bit, and then you know what? We'll we'll hang out for a couple couple hours. We'll relax. We'll uh, re-energize, um, and then what we might do is either hike. It's like two and a half miles to the shelter. It's a huge climb to the shelter, but it's two and a half miles. You know, maybe just pop the headlamps on and get it done. Or what we'll do is we'll just uh, find a stealth spot right out of town and just pack some water out, kind of thing. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what, what we got in front of us there a little bit. So today is going to be another nice long day, another nice warm day. Oh, boy. It's been a nice few warm days. It's been nice having my uh, my DSLR, my camera with me, being able to get some just fantastic shots that I really otherwise wouldn't have the chance to. You know, yeah, I, my GoPro does take very good high-resolution photos, but I can't really tweak the image around and get that customized photo that I really like to get. Um, so it's been kind of nice having that around, and it's been okay filming with my phone. You know, certainly that widescreen image with the GoPro is always a nice thing, but hey, this'll do. This'll do. In the meantime, we got some miles to do. It's going to be a hot one. I'll try to break you out a little bit more today, talk to you a little bit more. Oh boy, oh boy, getting our way up to Maine. We're going to hit 1,500 miles later today. Ooh-wee! See you guys further on down the trail. Welcome to Massachusetts. It's official. We're in New England. Oh boy, another state down. Connecticut, see you later. Finally, Connecticut, see you later. That was actually uh, pretty tough. I know it's just kind of like an unwrapping for what's in Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, but especially the fact that we haven't really hit tough terrain in so long, combined with we didn't wear full backpacks for about two weeks. You know, it hit our legs a little bit harder than we would like, but we're, we're getting uh, back in the swing of things, so to speak. So Massachusetts, here we come. On to Vermont is the next one. That should be coming up in just a few days. Oh boy, 1,500 miles yesterday we surpassed. That's another huge milestone, less than 700 miles to go. Now we're at the Connecticut, Massachusetts border. It's onward and upward. It's about uh, going on 3.30 in the afternoon. We have a few miles left to go. I'll see you guys further up the trail. So how we doing everybody? Your old pal Baba Ganoush here. It is uh, Thursday morning, July 12th, on to another week. So yesterday we got into Great Barrington. Um, you know, we did our resupply and stuff like that, and we decided to stay the night. <laughs> you know, we've been pushing for a good number of days and things without really any break. And so we decided, hey, let's get in for a night, get some good rest. You know, we got some tough, uh, tough elevation change, some tough miles in front of us. You know, let's, let's rest up the legs a little bit, let them recover. Certainly we feel really good this morning because of that. We're able to get some of the electronics and things fully charged up, with, which is always nice. Always nice. It's not going to keep you people entertained. And I need power to, to do that. Power. So here we are. Massachusetts, north of Great Barrington. We'll be in Vermont in just a couple days, which is an enormous, enormous milestone. We'll be passing 1,600 miles in just a few days, too. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. The countdown is on its way. Every day, we get closer and closer. Every single week, just with the ground that we're making as well, is just getting closer and closer by the week. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm getting so excited. Oh, man. This is the time where you kind of start running through your head. You know, things that you have to prepare for in Vermont, New Hampshire, in Maine. 
you know, preparing yourself mentally, not just for the rocks and things like that, but also for the fact that this is coming to an end. You know, you're out here for five, six months. It's such a change in lifestyle. You know, it's an amazing lifestyle. But at the same time, you gotta go home some point in time. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. We'll talk more about that later on down the road, further on up the trail. In the meantime, we got some miles to do today. We might have to change up the game plan a little bit because uh, campsite that we're originally expecting to stay at supposedly has a real bad bear problem. And it's a mother bear and cubs, and that's something I don't want to be a part of. So we'll see what happens. We'll see how many miles we do today, but we're only doing about two, two and a half days to the next town. Onward and upward we go. How we doing, everybody? Your old pal Baba Ganoush here. It is Friday, July 13th. Oh my God, it's, it's Friday the 13th. I should not be hiking right now. This is terribly dangerous for me to be out here. But anyway, we got a great view here this morning. It's uh, it's just past 11. We've been hiking since just uh, just before 8.30 this morning. So we got a pretty nice, nice start. A little bit earlier than we've been starting lately, which is good. We're planning on doing at least 18 miles, hopefully getting up to this pond where you can have a great campsite and everything tonight. Last night was great getting into camp. Some good people there. It was nice and quiet. It was a good one yesterday. We would have liked to do more miles, but unfortunately the campsite, I believe it's called like Striker, Striker Campsite, uh, has a major bear problem this year. So unfortunately we had to pull up short and only do about 13 and change, 14 miles or so. So today we're going to do a few extra miles just to try to get ourselves a little bit closer to town for tomorrow morning resupply. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We're getting closer to the Vermont border. We're getting closer to Katahdin by the day. <sighs> Gotta love it out here. This is fantastic. My beard game is coming on nice and strong, as you can see. Beard's coming in nice and well. It's becoming kind of a pain in the butt to maintain, to be honest with you, and it kind of freaks me out a little bit with ticks. Ugh, excuse me, I'm sweating. But, you know, I've been uh, using the um, Picaridin lotion, Sawyer Picaridin lotion. I treat all my clothes with the Sawyer Permethrin as well. And I've done really, really well with ticks thus far. You know, I've heard of a few reports already on the trail this year of other through hikers, you know, getting that, getting that bullseye rash and, uh, you know, having to get off trail for a couple weeks and go through, you know, the antibiotics and all that good stuff. Oh boy. And so we've been really lucky making sure to check ourselves regularly, cover ourselves with the proper treatment, so on and so forth, and we've been doing really well, so no ticks, knock on wood, knock on wood there, no ticks, but we still got to keep up the maintenance, of course. Oh, man. Oh, we got some good climbs here today, and then it kind of smooths out, and then we have a nice day, hoping to maybe camp up at this cool pond, get a cool little campsite, cool quiet campsite, but we'll see what happens. Otherwise, it's uh, 22 miles today to the shelter. We'll see what we have in us. Oh, oh, here comes Fernando. Look at this. Here he comes. Hi. Hi, Yukio. Hi, Win. <laughs> here he comes. So. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Good morning, everybody. How we all doing? It's uh, Monday morning, July 16th. Oh boy, we're only uh, about a day and a half or so away from uh, the, Ma the uh, Massachusetts-Vermont border. Oh man, that is so, so exciting. Oh my goodness. Uh, lately, the weather's been pretty uh, unpredictable. We've been having some rain. It's been hot. It's been humid. You know, because we're moving further north, we're kind of getting in getting into their rainy season right now. Um, so we're expecting some rain possibly this afternoon, and I know it's such a beautiful day right now. I mean, beautiful forest and everything, beautiful day. It's a little bit hot, but whoop de frickin' do. It's gorgeous right now. And, um, tomorrow, not so much. <laughs> Tomorrow's gonna be a real whooper. Uh, they're expecting rain all day, like one to two inches, heavy thunderstorms. So we're gonna be doing like 16 to 18 miles today or something and getting ourselves up to a uh, good shelter. And possibly just holding ourselves up there tomorrow. You know, yes, sir, I would have no problem hiking through the rain and stuff. But, 
you know what, in that harsh rain, it's just not fun. I'd rather just hold up in the shelter, take a day, and book it out the next day when uh, rain is going to be less likely. But again, we'll see what happens. Hopefully the weather changes. Things have been so unpredictable lately. Who knows? We were supposed to have a clear night last night. We ended up having a few little rain rain, uh, rain showers. Nothing crazy, a little, little mist. But uh, I do have a small leak in my tent still. It's coming in right along like the seam. And I don't know where it's coming in from because I've seam sealed that tent twice. So it's a little bit frustrating. But it's not that bad of a leak. It's just in really, really heavy rainfall, it does actually leak. So as long as we have a light rain, I'm fine. But until I can kind of get some silicone and kind of touch things up a little bit, I might have to stay in the shelters, which kind of stinks because the mosquitoes have been terrible. I don't like staying in the shelters with all the mosquitoes, but it is what it is. So in the meantime, today we're doing about 10 miles into town uh, where there's a stop and shop about a half a mile off trail. Get a resupply for a couple days and then move on. So these last few days in Massachusetts have been really nice and easy, actually. We've been coming across the town pretty much every single day for three or four days. So we've been able to keep our packs really nice and light, keep our food supply really nice and light, and just kind of go from town to town, get some food in town, some drinks, so on and so forth. It's been a good, good time. I've enjoyed myself. But now it's time to move on into Vermont, where the town stops get a little bit farther and fewer in between. We have some bigger climbs. I have to carry more food. Good times, good times, good times, noodle salad. Well, how to do it, fellers, the start of another week here. We uh, left Williamstown earlier today, crossed over into to, uh, Vermont. I was about to say Virginia, but I mean Vermont. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's a really good day thus far, really beautiful. So we stayed in Williamstown last night to get out of the thunderstorms, and I'm so glad that we did because we just heard from a couple hikers that it was a doozy. So we stayed nice and dry, we got ourselves into town, we had some food, got some rest, we feel super nice and fresh today. Ah, so we, we started just after 11 o'clock today, so we're only doing like 14 and a half or so miles. We'll see how we feel when we get up there as well, but we got a nice couple days of weather here. Uh, we're going to get into Manchester City in uh, just uh, two and a half, three days, and in there we'll... Uh, be able to fix up my tent, patch my tent up with a little leak. He's going to try on some new shoes as well. Whew, and then we got to push up to New Hampshire. So, But really great. We're in Vermont. Three states left to go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so anyway, we got some miles to do today. It's going to be a beautiful one. We got some great views coming up as well. I'll see you guys for the trail. Ah, so how we doing everybody? Welcome back. Uh, as I said before, it's uh, Wednesday, July 16th, on to another week. Two big milestones today. Crossed into Vermont, which is huge, 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 huge. Only three states left. Um, and as well, we crossed over 1,600 miles, 1,600 miles. Uh, we crossed over 1,600 miles a while ago, so we're actually moving well past that today, pretty much. Getting in a few extra. Might as well, right? Legs feel really nice. Wow, wow, wow. The countdown begins. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that. Less than 600 miles left to go. It's been an incredible journey thus far. Still have a few weeks, of course. Have about five or six weeks left of hiking to go. You know, of course, depending on the weather, days that we take off, people that we see, so on and so forth, five to six weeks. Whew. Here we go, boys and girls. How's it going, everybody? Your old pal Baba Ganesh here. It is Saturday, July 21st. Continuing on into Vermont here, we got another beautiful day, spectacular day, in fact. Not just weather-wise, but all in all, just a great, great day. So we just rolled through uh, Manchester, Vermont, a beautiful little town where we uh, got our resupply, visited the outfitters as well, grabbed some more fuel. I grabbed some seam sealer to touch up my tent a little bit and get rid of that leak. And what was really, really cool, the reason why this is such a great day and a super special day, 
is my good friend Adam and his girlfriend Hannah. We're actually in Manchester, Vermont for a wedding. Adam is one of my good friends from Washington, D.C., and it was just sheer happenstance that the wedding is this exact weekend, literally five miles away from where the trail crosses the road. So it was great. He was able to come and uh, pick us up from the trailhead, bring us into Manchester, treated us out to lunch too. Adam, thank you so much. It was, it was a pretty, really nice place for lunch. Great food, good beer, and Adam took care of it for both of us. Uh, and then, of course, he brought us to the grocery store and made sure we got a resupply, and he made sure we got back to the trail as well. So, just all in all, great town stop in Manchester. It's a beautiful little town, and to have a good friend of mine from so far away actually be up here and to really help us out as well just makes it even more special. Another another beautiful town stop. Well, it's raining again. <laughs> It's raining really, really hard. It's raining, too. Like, no joke, this is big old fat rain that we got here. So, we're in this one shelter right now. What's the name of the shelter? Dear Lord, what's the name of the shelter? I have no idea what the name of the shelter is. I don't remember. I don't uh, know what it is. Big Branch. Big Branch Shelter. He's got it. So, we stayed at this little campsite that's point one. So, we actually did the hike point one today. So, it's not like we didn't, we didn't hike at all. But we got up to the shelter, we stopped, had breakfast, uh, you know, did our morning business kind of thing, and as soon as we sat down to, like, have our breakfast and stuff in the shelter, the sky just opened and just started downpouring. So we're sitting here just like, it's, a, it's 10.45 right now, we've been sitting here just like, you know what, like, let's just wait a little while, at least let's do, like, maybe eight miles, let's do some miles maybe today, and it just keeps on raining harder. I did a weather update with my GPS. It said it's supposed to die down later today, but we'll see what happens. For the time being, we're just hunkering down. We're going to stay dry. We have so much food, it's absurd. So we have plenty of food if we need to take a zero day. Uh, plus, as well, we have some packages getting sent to Rutland, Vermont. So it kind of gives us an extra day as well, allowing the packages to get there in time. So that we don't get to Rutland and then have to sit around waiting because they just weren't there in time kind of thing. So, it works out. Tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, today's Monday, July 23rd, tomorrow's the 24th. It's supposed to be a beautiful, beautiful day. So that might be a great day to just get in some extra miles, make up some, make up some of the time a little bit. We can dry out some of the gear off of our packs and everything as well. So, one little thing. I have to get a new tent. My tarp tent, I've seam sealed it like two different times. I've done touch-ups and it's still leaking. I have a feeling I know what it is. There's like a little collar around one of the vents in the corners. Um, and the water's getting behind the little seam and then running through and then down the seam of my tent. And then dripping onto me, of course. So it's not a terrible leak, but it's consistent enough to where it's an issue. I'm tired of dealing with it with all the rain. I don't really have the time to try to seam seal all this up because it has to dry. I have to clean it up. I have to touch it up. That's extra days that we have to do. So I'm just going to get a brand new tent. I'm just going to have it overnighted to the Outfitters in Rutland. And that's what I'm going to finish with. And then I'll fix up my tarp tent when I get home so I can have that as regular backpacking tent. So it is what it is. I'm tired of dealing with it. It's one expense that I don't want to deal with, but... It might be worth it just with all the rainy weather that we've been having just to feel a little bit more secure and to actually get a good night's sleep when it does rain. So in the meantime, we're just re relaxing, resting up, hanging some of our stuff up, drying out. Right now, the plan is just hunker down, see what happens, but more than likely, we're just going to take a day. So watch some movies, boring day, just relax, get some rest, get some sleep, eat plenty of food. I'll see you guys later. But would you look at that? Only 500 miles left. Well, golly gee. So, it's uh, Wednesday, July 25th. We head into Rutland tomorrow. It's drizzling a little bit right now, but we have 500 miles left. Oh my goodness. We still have 500 miles left. <laughs> Through some of the hardest part of the entire trail as well. But we're excited for it. As well as that means we only have four and a half to five weeks left to go. Eh, womp, womp, womp. In the meantime, it's raining. I'm probably going to stop and put my pack cover on real quick so I can keep my cameras and stuff nice and dry. I'll see you guys for a little bit.